That's probably how sailors sold out of whales and were like, oh, whale lice, kind of like human lice. <laughs> whale lice aren't related to human lice. Whale lice are actually crustaceans. They're not insects or arachnids like you might expect. Scientists call them amphipods, and most amphipods are flattened from the sides, but whale lice are flattened top and bottom, which, you know, when you think about it, it makes sense if you're trying to hold on to a fast-moving whale, you kind of want it to have a lower profile. And they kind of just feed on the skin and live in any sort of crevice that they can get a hold of. So any kind of calloused parts on their head, in the armpit of the flipper, and in the genital area, anywhere there's a crease where they can really get a good footing. There's over 30 species of whale lice, and there's probably more species than that that we haven't discovered yet. We're still finding more, and it's kind of hard to find them since they live in whales. You have to find a whale to begin with, so they're pretty tricky critters to study. They also get onto smaller cetaceans like dolphins. For the most part, a particular species of whale louse <laughs> lives only on one species of whale. Partly because most crustaceans have a planktonic stage when they're larvae, but whale lice don't have that. They live entirely on the whale and never leave the whale unless there's whales nursing or things like that is how the lice spread between whales. And it's even a little bit odder than that in that there are only certain species of whale lice that live on, for example, male sperm whales and the female sperm whales have another species. So it's, I don't understand that one to be honest with you. <laughs> Sometimes the lice are still alive on a freshly dead whale. They won't feed on us because they're symbiotes with the whales, um, but it's a little creepy to have them attached to your fingers.